Have you gone to vote today? I didn't even know there was an election. Didn't you get the pamphlet? I must have forgotten about it. Here, you can read mine. Why is it so important to vote anyway? It's the only way to make our voices heard. Our opinions won't make much of a difference. The most popular opinion will. I guess if I vote, my opinion will be a little more popular. That's the spirit. Let's go vote now before the lines get too long. Are you a Democrat or a Republican? I am a Republican, of course. Republicans are conceited and judgmental. Your liberal stubbornness tells me you're a Democrat. Don't insult me. There's a reason the Democrats' mascot is a donkey. At least we're not unforgiving elephants. I don't agree with any of the Democratic outlooks. I don't believe in any Republican beliefs either. What should we do then? Let's not talk politics, or we'll be like those terrible politicians. I guess, regardless of viewpoints, politicians are all bad. Have you voted for the class representative? No, I'm not sure who to choose. The first candidate says he will save the school money. The second says he will arrange more school trips. It sounds like one saves, one spends. They both have similar policies on tardiness. They also talk about caring for the student body. I heard the first candidate got detention once, though. What did he get detention for? He didn't turn in his assignments. I don't want such a careless representative. Me either. Oh, I messed it. I can't believe Obama won before Hillary. You can't believe an African American beat a woman. You are being very stereotypical. I'm just trying to prove a point. What point would that be? America is still racist and sexist. It does seem like the election was eventually based on those aspects. Why did you want Hillary to win? I have always liked her political standing. I think they'd both make good presidents. I guess we'll see how Obama does. I just hope stereotypes aren't so pronounced now, too. My household is registered as Republican. Why is that so upsetting? I really want to vote for Obama. You're allowed to vote for him, even if you're a Republican. Really? I didn't know that. Of course, you're not restricted from anything. Can I also vote for Republican state representatives? Yes, that's okay too. I prefer the world not based on what party you're in. Me too. It makes things seem a lot more equal. I'm going to fill out my sample ballot now. All right, I will too. My university is passing out flyers for health insurance. Mine too. If I don't choose, I'll get Obamacare. What's Obamacare? It's the new health care provided by Affordable Health Care Act. What does it promise? It regulates health insurance so it's affordable for everyone. That sounds like a great step forward. I think Obama is really keeping his promise. I wish there were more changes to the education system. Most of the acts passed were to help immigrant students. It's a shame they fight so hard for underfunded education. It's a bit of a letdown for everybody. They're really trying hard to get teenagers to vote. I love the commercials on television about it. You mean the ones with the famous TV stars? Yes, and the singers too. They're all done by the Rock the Boat organization. 
It's a really good marketing idea. It makes me want to vote. And it's good to show how important voting really is. They should make those commercials for policies too. They'd be better than those misleading commercials. I agree. It seems like all those commercials tell lies. Maybe I'll volunteer with Rock the Vote someday. Did you hear about the ID enforcement? No. What's that? It's a law requiring voters to show ID before voting. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. There are many voters who cannot afford an ID, though. I didn't think about that. If IDs are required, even less people will show up to vote. That completely goes against what they're trying to accomplish. Besides, many voters don't even have a birth certificate. That's another big problem. I'm completely against this voting requirement. Me too. All it will do is keep people from voting. They should increase the voting age to 21. Why do you think they should do that? Well, people can't drink until they're 21. That's so they'll have time to make the right decision. They can't decide what's best for them until they're 21. I suppose you have a point. Voting is something very important. People should think hard and make the right decision. I hope the teenagers are old enough to do that. Maybe your idea is a good one. Then again, lots of adults don't vote either. I guess it always depends on the individual. I hate proxy voting. What's proxy voting? It's when a vote can be made for you by a committee. That sounds unfair. I think if someone is unable to vote, no one should vote for them. Is this done for civilians? No, usually for members of a committee. I still think it's unfair. Me too. The rule should not exist. Soon they'll be applying it to us too. I hope that never happens. Ever traveled abroad? If yes, what country was it? Yes, I have. I traveled to the USA last year with my family. Where is that country located? The USA is located in North America. What is it famous for? The USA is known for its cultural achievements and landmarks. What are the special food and drinks of that country? There are many. They are known for fast food, dairy, and many beverages. What do you like about that country? I like the fast pace of life and the various subcultures. How many citizens are there in that country? The current population of the United States of America was over 324 million in 2016, which accounts for 4.3 percent of the total world population. What language do people there speak? The national language is English, but many people also speak Spanish, French. German and Chinese. Do you want to go back there again? Sure. Why do people like to travel abroad? They just want to discover new places, learn new cultures, and maybe speak new languages. Who is your favorite teacher? I like Mr. Tom the most. He is my English teacher. Is he a foreign teacher? Yes, he's from the U.S. What do you like about his lessons? I have fallen in love with his American accent, and he always shows us something new about the world outside of textbooks. What's he like? He's not only knowledgeable but also very friendly. He always treats us like friends, not students. What does he usually wear when coming to class? He usually wears a gray suit when he comes to class. Do you love his subject? Yes, I enjoy English a lot. Do students in your class like him? Yes, all of us admire him. Do you want to be a teacher like him? No. Although I am like him, my dream is not to become a teacher. I would like to be a chef. Have you ever been punished by him? No, he rarely punishes anyone. Do you want to see him again? Of course, he's a great mentor.
Who's your best friend? It's Jenny. She's my best friend. What does she look like? She has shoulder length brown hair. I just love her lovely smile. How and when did you meet? I first met her when we were in high school. How often do you see this friend? I see her every day. We're in the same class. What's she like? She's not only thoughtful, but also very understanding. She's always by my side to cheer me up whenever I'm in trouble. Do you and her share anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both love shopping and playing sports. What do you and her do together? We usually do homework and read books together. Have you and her ever quarreled? Yes, but we seldom quarrel. When we do argue, afterwards we seem to understand more about each other. Does she know how to cook? Yes, but she's not a great cook. Do your parents like her? Yes, a lot. They always ask Jenny to come over for dinner. Why is a friend important in life? A good friend can make your life better in many ways. I don't think anyone can stand loneliness. What is your favorite hotel? Where is it located? It's the Sheraton, a five star hotel located in Saigon, Vietnam. How do you know that hotel? Before coming to Vietnam for traveling, I searched on the internet. It's one of the best hotels in Vietnam. Why do you choose to stay in that particular hotel? I like the architecture there, and online, all the reviews about the hotel are positive. Is it by the beach? No, Saigon is not a beachside city. Does it attract many tourists? Yes, I guess. When I stayed there, it was completely booked. What type of room did you stay in, and what facilities did you get from the hotel? I stayed in a double bed room. The room is equipped with air conditioner, a flat screen TV, wardrobe, etc. What do you like about that hotel? A gymnasium, swimming pool, and BBQ area are available. I also love the green space surrounding the hotel. Is all the staff friendly and helpful? Yes, definitely. They all are professional. How much does it cost a night? It costs me around $250 a night. Do you recommend that hotel to friends? Yes, if they come to Vietnam. I love everything there. Who wrote the letter to you? My dad wrote the letter to me when he was on a business trip. Did you keep the letter? Yes, put it in a folder. Whenever I'm down, reading his letter would be a good way to cheer me up. What was the letter about? He told me about his new workplace and how things were there. How did you feel about the letter? I was glad to know that he was fine in another city. Do you have a letter collection? Yes, I collected all the letters from family and friends. It's one of my hobbies. Do you like writing letters or emails? I prefer writing paper letters. Do people in your country usually write letters? Years ago, they did. Now people prefer emails. What's the difference between emails and handwritten letters? Emails are much more convenient than letters because they're free to send and they get there instantly. However, letters are much more special. Why should we write letters to friends or relatives? It's a good way to show love to people you care about. What is your hobby? I like playing sports, especially swimming. Is your hobby common in your country? Yes, kids, adults, and senior citizens all like swimming in my country. Is your hobby the same as when you were a child? Yes, I was fond of swimming when I was a little girl. When did you start practicing that hobby? I started swimming when I was five years old. Is there anybody in your family who you share your hobby with? My dad, he taught me how to swim. How much time do you spend on your hobby? I usually go to the swimming pool twice a week. What benefits do you get from it? Swimming is a really good workout. It helps me keep fit and chill out after a long day working. 
have you ever heard of someone having a very unusual hobby yes my cousin loves tattooing vehicles he puts stickers everywhere on his car what do you think about someone having weird hobbies I don't think any hobby is weird it's just what you like to do so I don't judge others what hobbies are usually expensive in your country playing golf is a really expensive hobby only the rich can afford to buy golf supplies what kind of music do you like I'm crazy about pop music is that the kind of music preferred in your country it varies normally the youth enjoy rock and pop while middle-aged citizens prefer country music who is your favorite singer I'm a big fan of Miley Cyrus a talented US singer songwriter and actress what piece of music do you like who sang that song my favorite song is Jolene sung by Miley Cyrus how much time a day do you spend listening to music I usually listen to music all day with an mp3 player do you feel relaxed listening to music sure I feel like there are no more worries in the world why is music important to us music has the power of beautifying our life do you usually go to bars or clubs not often I sometimes go there on weekends what do you think about the teenagers music style teenagers tend to choose loud and fast music like rock or rap everyone has their own taste of music though have you ever thought of forming a music band no I don't have any talent for music where did you go for holiday last year I went to Singapore a Southeast Asian country why did you choose that destination I love to travel to Asian countries and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture how long did it last I stayed there for two weeks who went with you I traveled to Singapore with my best friends how did you travel we flew there of course during the time there we moved mostly by MRT and taxi what did you pack up I only brought some necessary items such as money clothes medicine a map and a digital camera what did you do during the holiday we visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands Merlion Park Art Science Museum Singapore Flyers we also enjoyed local cuisine there what's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago well it has changed a lot people now can afford holidays outside their countries while 20 years ago traveling abroad seemed hard at what time do people in your country usually go on holiday it depends on what job people have when they have a break from work they will find somewhere to travel are you an animal lover yes I am I love animals are you raising any pets yes I have a pit bull puppy at home what is it like my puppy is friendly highly intelligent and well behaved he always waves his tail and licks my hand to welcome me home what does it look like he's a medium-sized puppy with a strong neck broad chest and brown hair what are its habits my pit bull puppy loves doing exercise every day when he plays he plays to win what do you usually do with it we usually play tennis together my puppy helps me pick up tennis balls what does it like to eat he loves beef chicken and some dairy products what do you learn from it he teaches me loyalty an adult pit bull may make me feel safe why do people keep pets they consider pets as their loyal companions which make their life better are pets well looked after in your country yes people in my country love pets what practical skill have you learned cooking is a practical skill that I have practiced recently who taught you that skill my mom is the best cook she taught me everything about how to make soup salad omelets cake etc 
How did you learn it? She shows me how to buy food, prepare ingredients, and cook meals whenever she's in the kitchen. I learn how to boil, grill, steam, fry, braise, etc. day by day. Why did you learn it? I just want to be a good cook like my mom when I get married. I will prepare the best dishes for my husband and children. How long did it take for you to learn it? I learned it in four years. The skill seems to be strengthened when I live apart from my family for studying. How often do you use this skill? I cook every day. I also love homemade food. How has this skill helped you? It makes me more confident whenever I go on a picnic outside. I'm always responsible for the barbecue. Do people in your family know this skill too? My younger sister knows how to cook too. She has just started learning. Do all skills need learning? Yes, they do. Practice makes perfect. How is this skill important to you? It's an essential life skill. All women need to know this to keep their family warm and happy. How many popular festivals are there in your country? There are many New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick Day, Easter, etc. What is the most important festival in your country? I believe that New Year's Day is the most important one since it's a chance for family reunion and parties. People gather together to welcome the new year. When does it take place? It occurs on January 1st. Where is the festival celebrated? The New Year's Day is celebrated all over the country. Each family has its own way to celebrate the day. What do people do to prepare for the festival? Before New Year's Day, People go shopping for food and drinks, repair the house, or put up decor. Who can join the festival? It's a day for everybody. What do people do in the festival? On New Year's Eve, people have a party with traditional food and drinks. After that, they may visit friends or relatives, go to the movies, or watch sports. What's special about that festival? It marks the end of a year and celebrates a new year. People believe that the things they do on the first day will bring good luck and prosperity to them during the whole year. Is the festival culturally related? Sure, the festival is an integral part of culture. Why is a festival important? It adds structure to our social lives and connects us with our families and backgrounds. What's your favorite music band? I'm a big fan of One Direction. There are five singers in the band. Is it famous around the world? Yes, it is. The band is well known around the world. Almost all teenagers love them. What's their taste of music? They sing pop music. Their most famous song may be What Makes You Beautiful. Are they good at dancing? Yes, I think so. I fall in love with their every step. Have you ever seen them in real life? Nope. I just watch them on media. I wish I will see them one day. How often do you come to their show? I watch videos almost every day. Listening to their songs helps me chill out. Can you sing their songs? Yes, but only one song. I just keep singing it over and over again every day. Do your friends like them? Of course. We usually watch their performances and discuss it together. Do they have anti fans? Yes, every famous singer has anti fans. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience. I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? Every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. 
Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No, my dad likes radio and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user friendly. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher is one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize. But it didn't matter. I was still happy with the result. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life.